What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Man, so this woman going to the YouTube headquarters in San Bernardino, California, shoot up the building, after which she turned the gun on herself and killed herself. This is what they saying. Four people were wounded, one person in critical condition. They asked my views on it and what I think about it. Okay, they saying the woman was frustrated and uh, mad because the YouTube policy changed. Where you have to now have uh, over a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours, 4,000 hours, 4,000 4, hours didn't go through the process of getting your video monetized. So they say she was disappointed in that situation. But I don't think that had nothing to do with it. Maybe it did to a, a, a certain extent. But clearly there's a mental issue taking place in this situation. Because there's no way you're going to get mad at somebody else who have a social media free for you to be a part of. That you can generate money off of. That they given to you for free. For free. And you go to their headquarters, place of business. Shoot up the place. And then uh, turn a gun and kill yourself. That's a mental illness. That show how you think of yourself as a person. And it also show how you think of others. So that's a mental illness situation that's going on right there. And I'm pretty sure if they look into her background, they're going to find some other thing that was taking place. But this is clearly a mental issue situation. Uh, um... And it's real out here. That's a real thing that's taking place. There's a lot of people struggling with mental issue situations. And it seems like for a lot of females, they, they, they really suffer from bipolar, uh, bipolar and depression. So them things need to be treated, man. Them things need to be treated. I see it now in this battle rap community I'm in. That is mental illnesses going on and deficiencies that's taking place. So when I when I be blogging, when I be seeing the same guys over and over and over again, just stalk stalking and obsessed with me and got to keep you know what I'm saying. So that right there be letting me know you know what I'm saying that it's going on in this field too. So it's sad it ended up happening that way. I don't like to talk on a mentally ill because that's the problem. They're mentally ill. And when you're dealing with people who are mentally ill and they got access to weapons and things like that, it can cause harm to uh, uh, innocent bystanders. And that's exactly what took place. Because in this woman's mind, she really believed that she was uh, actually violated. That they actually took something from her that actually belonged to them. That they channel, they station, they can do whatever they want, set the rules if they want. It belongs to them. Who are we to tell a person how to run their own business, then want to kill them for having their own stuff? I mean, that was that, that's a problem right there. That's a problem right there. And that woman ended up losing her life. Uh, and 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 and. and at the attempts of trying to take others with her, you know, may God have mercy on on her soul, and may everybody who was wounded in that situation may they uh may they come out strong. But I be telling people like I, I be I be having to watch myself sometimes. Like when you're mad at a person, like uh when somebody like like a mess up something like. When, when a delivery per person's, when you order something from a restaurant and then the delivery people come bring it and then the order messed up. You want to curse out the delivery person for messing up your order. But I don't do that because I know they probably wasn't responsible for taking the order. Even if other people calling, like if my cable messed up, I don't call the cable company cursing out the cable company because the people who answer in the phones is just answering the phones doing, doing their job. They receptionist that's getting paid for answering the phones. So I don't curse them out about my cable being messed up or this like that because I know they doing the job. I'm going to speak to them to fix the problem that had nothing to do with them. Same thing for this woman. You, she go inside the YouTube headquarters, then you shoot shooting these people 
who had nothing to do with what's going on on your channel. I mean, for what? You still ain't going to change nothing. You probably even made it worse and messed up the policies even worse. So, but now you done lost your life too. So, again, I can't really speak about that when it comes to mental illnesses, man, because it, it, it's bad out here. And I know a lot of people suffer from them things like that. But how it, it, it's sad how you look at them things. Same thing with shooting going on in school. You got all these hundreds and thousands of kids in school. You can have one person dealing with a mental issue, snap one day and shoot up the school and people end up losing their lives because of one person suffering with something, mental illnesses. So... It's sad, but it's out here and it's true in the real life. That's why I always try to stay prayed up. Not try. I always be prayed up. My trust in Jesus Christ, that's my Lord and Savior. When you're covered in the blood of Jesus, God protects you from those things. You don't know what another person is capable of doing. You don't know when another person going to snap out. But when that blood of Jesus is covering you, it protects you because it knows everything that's happening, past, present, and future. God keep you. He have an investment in you. I may not know what's going to happen an hour or two from here, but God does. And because God does, and I'm in, uh, I'm in right standards with him, and I'm his son, he going to protect me and keep me from the things that I'm not aware of. That's why it's important to live your life covered in the blood of Jesus Christ because you never know what's out there and what's going to happen to you. I that's one of the most scary things I came to realize now. Living a life without God, only to die without him, expecting God to give you mercy. That don't happen. God mercy is in Jesus Christ according to the word of God, the Bible. God's mercy is in Jesus Christ. In other words, God give you mercy because of your relationship with his son, Jesus Christ. Apart from that, you don't really, you don't have mercy. You don't have mercy. So I just, my thing to everybody, they prayed up, trust and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray over your family, pray over your children. The, the 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 prayers of that Jesus taught us to do to our, to our children, man, and walk in the power of God. Have faith, have faith, man, and just try to humble yourself when dealing with people. Cause we live in a world where people get on our nerves. They make us sick. They try to irritate and agitate. They try to irritate and agitate us. And it's hard loving people. It's hard forgiving people. But we have to learn how to do that. And then disconnect and uh, uh, ourselves and associate ourselves from others. That's what we have to do, man, in order to be successful within our own self and lives, man. And with that being said, this battle truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth. <laughs>